Welcome to Washington. I'm Brett Baer. President Obama's push to speed health care reform through Congress has hit plenty of speed bumps this summer. Today, the White House was trying to regroup in some pretty fast company. Senior White House correspondent Major Garrett reports one option on the table, going it alone. 2008 NASCAR President sprint Obama Cup celebrated champion. all things NASCAR with last year's Sprint Cup champion Jimmy Johnson. Even his aide said his health care message is installed and the race for government-driven reform can still be won. The argument's not over. The discussion's not over. The debate's not over. House Minority Whip Eric Cantor agrees the debate's not over, but says the president's spinning his wheels. What I really see right now is a White House in chaos over health care. Mr. Obama's chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel, told the New York Times today the Republican leadership believes killing health care is, quote, more important for their political goals than solving the health insurance problems that Americans face every day. The president agrees Republican leaders are trying to throw sand in the gears, but will for a while at least pursue a bipartisan compromise. Because we take very seriously the fact that uh, there are Republicans, three of which are on the Finance Committee, that have said they're committed to and dedicated to health care reform. Uh, and we'll believe that unless or until we're told that's not the case. Montana Democrat Max Baucus is leading those Senate Finance Committee negotiations, which will continue tomorrow. But if those talks break down, Senate Democratic leaders said they are prepared to go it alone and thwart any GOP filibuster with a maneuver that would allow them to prevail with a simple 51-vote majority. A Quinnipiac University national poll taken before the intense national town hall debates over health care underscored the risks to Democrats of abandoning bipartisanship. 59% said they disagreed with a Democratic-only health care solution, including 32% of Democrats and 63% of independents. Fox caught up in Iowa with one of the leading Republican health care negotiators, Senator Charles Grassley. I wish the White House would take a deep breath and pause. We're talking about health care. That's life or death affecting every American. We're talking about one-sixth of the economy. It ought to be broad-based. It shouldn't be partisan. Another GOP health care negotiator, Mike Enzi of Wyoming, blasted the so-called public option for health care reform, one the White House continues to embrace and liberals most ardently covet. Monopolies never bring down costs or improve efficiency, Enzi wrote in USA Today. A government-run option is really no option at all. And Brett, as the president was walking back from that NASCAR event, he was asked if there was going to be a bill this year. He said, quote, I'm absolutely confident we're going to get a bill regarding health care. He also said, quote, and I hope it's bipartisan. One other thing the president just wrapped up, Brett, a conference call with religious leaders from the progressive left across the country. They were urged to use their pulpits to motivate folks in their congregations to push for health care reform in the next 40 days. The president called that an ethical and moral obligation. As of death panels, he said, that's an extraordinary lie. Proof, he said, that some Americans in this debate are, quote, bearing false witness. Brett. Major Garrett, live on the North Lawn.